Hello my gamers. Today we got another tutorial. Um similar to a tutorial I made a couple of years ago, but let's be real, that that tutorial is probably really outdated. Who's to know it even works? So I decided to make another tutorial on that same uh topic. And basically today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Yaba Sanshiro. It's basically a Sega Saturn emulator that allows you to play Sega Saturn games. Now, I will say, unfortunately, I can't show you guys where to get your Saturn games, you know, how to obtain them and all that jazz, because due to YouTube's policies, yeah, YouTube is just YouTube. A quick little Firefox search or Google search um, should do the trick, you know, wherever you get your Saturn games are up to you. I just recommend finding one with a Ben and Q sheet because, uh, yeah, ISO doesn't really do that good because usually it doesn't play the music and all that jazz. So, yeah, try and find a Ben and Q sheet. That's all I can say. But, yeah, Google and Firefox are your best friends. But let's be real, Firefox is the better friend, you know. Definitely not debatable. But, uh, yeah, basically, without further ado, all you want to do is uh, open the Play Store. And, um, basically you guys want to look up Yaba Sanshiro. And, uh, here it is. Should be the first thing that comes up, Yaba Sanshiro. And, uh, you can get the pro version. I just use the free version because it literally gets the same job done. I don't see the point in the pro version. So basically, you want to find this one, the free version, by the way, unless you actually want to pay money. Um, and you basically just press install. And then it just installs the game. Well, not the game, but the emulator. And let me just tell you guys, this emulator is really easy to set up. Like a five-year-old could do it. Like, I'm surprised it's this easy now. So you want to go in it. It'll ask you if you want some weird sprite thing just close that you guys can look into that if you want but for this purpose i won't basically just press start and then it'll ask you to allow it to you know access photos media and files on your device guys this app ain't sus so don't worry about it so just press allow then it'll update and then it'll ask you if you want to make an account and all that. If you want to sign in. For the for tutorial purposes, I won't. But you guys can look into that. You guys can dibble and dabble with this emulator after the tutorial. If you want. So, basically, all you have to do. You can also read the instructions. But basically, all you have to do is press on these three bars right here. And then you press, you press uh, load game. Now, this is the part where your Saturn game comes in, right? So, assuming you have your legal copy of the game, you know, you know, you send that game to your phone, and you can put it anywhere. So, basically, you can just keep it in your downloads folder if you've got the game, or you can just... Basically, what this is, it, you just locate where your game is. So, you gotta... Uh, for in this case... My game is in the root of the phone, tablet, whatever you want to call it, because I'm emulating the Android right now, so my game is in the root of it. And uh, as you can see, it's called Sonic R. It has the bin in the Q sheet file. And uh, yeah, there's my game. My game is located in the root of the storage device, or whatever it is. Now, for some cases, your uh, game could be located somewhere else. But let's just say, let's say your game was located in uh, another folder, right? Let's say your game was located in a uh, system. I don't know why it'd be there. Basically, you would just go to system and your game would appear right here. Or if you like made a folder, and you put the game in that folder, the game would be in that folder. It's just, basically, it's all where the game is. So, 
My game is in the SD card or something. My, um, yeah, my, uh, game is in the root of the device itself, so. Yeah, here's my game right here. The bin in the Q sheet. Now, basically, what you want to do is press the Q file. You got to press the Q. If you press the bin file, the music probably won't work and things will just be screwed up. So, always want to press the Q sheet file. Just leave the bin file alone. You have to have the bin file there, but press the Q sheet and you basically just uh, click load. And then the game will load. And then was off. Bam. Just like that. Easier than count. Easier than the ABCs. Um, and basically, here's the game. Blah, 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 playing it, you know. All that jazz. And, uh, yeah. The game just works just like that. What's all? And basically, to go out of the game, to go back, you would just press the backspace button on your device. And it was all the menu loads. You can exit the game, you can open the CD tray, you can reset the game, settings here, you can either, you can like, show FPS and all that jazz, um, you can even change the resolution, you know, I like that sharp 1080p, so, um, yeah, basically to go out of this, you would just press the backspace button again, you know, and then, uh, yeah. Whatever you guys decide to do next with this emulator is up to you. I was just showing you how to like set it up, which is really easy. You guys can dibble and dabble with the settings and all that once you actually get it working. But uh, yeah, it's basically that easy. That's how you like load the game and use, literally use the app. But uh, like I said, I can't show you guys where to get your games. A quick little search should do the job. Um, and basically, yeah. Now, once you exit the game, it will promote, you know, the pro version. But uh, you don't have to do that. Another cool feature is that the game will show up in your library. With the title and everything. Like, once you're done playing it. So next time you come in, all you have to do is click on it. And then bam, the game loads up again. Another thing you can do is add BIOS files. That's optional. Um, I'm going to be safe and not show you where to get the BIOS files either. You know, to avoid a strike. Because <laughs> I don't know if they're picky about BIOS files either. But uh, if you ask me to send it to you through like Discord or something, I can also do that. But due to YouTube's policy, I won't show you how to do that stuff. As far as searching for BIOS files and, uh, you know, games, I can't show you how to do that. I can show you, though, where the BIOS folder is located at. Because, basically, when you go there, it'll say it's a built-in BIOS. So, where you would put your, um, basically where you would put your uh, BIOS file, you would go to the root. You know, find where your, uh, don't mind all these weird files, by the way, but you would go to your, you know, where you installed Yabius, or no, Yaba San Sanchiro, and then it'll, this is where, this is what the folder would be called. Sorry for my terrible grammar, by the way. I haven't done this in ages, but this is where you would put your BIOS file, you would put it in. Yab Yaba I never understood how to say that. But this is what this is what the emulator used to be called actually. But you would go to this folder right here and then you would go to BIOS and then put your BIOS file in there. Now what's optional is that you can put your games they also offer a games folder. You can put your games in here if it's too complicated to like put your game somewhere else. You can put it in the San Shiro Yaba Sanchiro folder, which is called Yaba Use. Such complicated names, man. <laughs> but yeah, with that being done, that pretty much just sums up this entire tutorial. Very easy to do. Literally, a five-year-old could do it. I'm not even joking. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I hope this helped you out. May not be as good as the last tutorial I did of this uh, topic, but hopefully you guys get a better understanding on what to do when you actually do use this emulator. Because it's really easy to use if you use like 1% of your brain. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, with that being done, though, I think it's time to sign off, you know. I will say one last time, though, a quick little Google search. Or Firefox search. Because, you know, they're your friends. That can help you find the games. So, hopefully, though. Hopefully, you don't even have to do that. Hopefully, you have a legal copy, you know. You have a legal copy of your, you know, your Saturn game. But, uh, that's how you set up the, uh, app. So, um, GG's. That's the set. And on to the next one.